To ensure that implementing districts have enough services, Strides for Family Health awarded over 50 contracts to public and private service providers through the performance-based contracting intervention in what has become one of the project's best practices. Through the performance-based contracting, uh, contractors have learned, first of all, they have been taught financial skills and also proposal writing skills and some of them like so we, they are working with the donors for the first time so we believe we are leaving them at a different level now strides intervention pushed us on form it brought us back on form we're in position to get training in family planning and at least we have a better view of family planning. We can now conduct family planning and at least we are trying our level best to reach out to the people with the family planning methods. Performance-based contracting is designed to direct resource flow to high-impact health services so that populations seeking care are met with highly competent and motivated service providers. By awarding contracts to both public and private service providers, Strides for Family Health has improved access and utilization of maternal health, child survival, and family planning services in all the 15 implementing districts. In a PG district, the Ernest Cook Ultrasound Research and Education Institute, EQRA, has trained health workers and midwives in the use of ultrasound scan services in 12 health facilities. We want it to improve the skills, the clinical skills of the midwives catering for these mothers by equipping them with ultrasound skills and also giving them ultrasound equipment and then deploying them to these health facilities so that they can uh, incorporate ultrasound scanning into routine antenatal care. This intervention has seen a remarkable increase in antenatal attendance to 141%. Unlike what the situation was before, the use of the ultrasound services in the districts of Mpiji and Chenjojo has seen expectant mothers now go for the four required antenatal visits before delivery. The antenatal clinic attendance have increased from the previous ones and also the deliveries have also increased. The range was between 400 to 500 but now the range is 700 to 850. Yeah. Mm. And also the deliveries before they were ranging to 80 to 100 but with the scan the deliveries are ranging between 150 to 180. We get more who are coming in. Very few are now going to the traditional birth attendance and they hope to come to the facility. And this has actually been realized um, in the numbers we're getting at the facility. The additional ultrasound scanning services really caused excitement in the community. Women wanted to come and see the image of the baby, to know if the baby is well positioned. And it, it, it just, for anyone who has been a mother, it's exciting to see the image. This is when I was talking to you about scanning. I remember how I scanned the image of the baby. Baku yamba, no velanga, tebakuni garo buto, kuba ed the valley, banyigano, no vango, little room. Naikati, Mataka of Jess, no la bumanao, no gamba ha, Mbulida rooms. Cause you will not quite a gazango la bumanao, never gamba ha, manao mulam, no sanivanga manan. We used to have a very few uh, mothers attending the fourth visits because they would only go there to get a card because they knew. Without a card, it is hard to deliver from health setting. But currently, the fourth visits have increased. Even we have those uh, fifth and sixth visits, so people have liked. In the same measure, the number of mothers delivering at the health centers has gone up alongside improved care at the health facilities. In Chenjejo District, southwestern Uganda, the contractor Midas Touch uses a voucher system to enable mothers access free ultrasound scan and maternal child health services in 11 government health facilities. They are received and registered under the project and given a blue voucher informing the mother that she is part of our project. If she attends the four visits, she will get uh, 
a green voucher entitles her to uh, a free ultrasound scan and uh, it also entitles her to emergency obstetric care. Kale ati kutwaliza hamu ikitonguli kimi kiyambiri munu e, nyo kinyambiri ya nko umundu. Hawakuwa nga tuwalienda yangi, nga kituwala kurungi bide ya bizibu ya binarabide mwe, kabirabamu mbuzibu, mkunigiri zibu, chunga teni yondo kuna kituwa hili. Na hula kale tindi kurungi, nini kara munu ya sasa, umu, bambi aliyo umisi umunasa umetari ya ke, akanyamba munu. Yangambu maiki ugo ukola, ijamukatizi. Na mkamba kule nkajamu kiba nja usente, masoko nja usente, yangamba aa, mine wii ntwe, otu kuja kusasua na chikumi. Kalangala district is one of the hard to reach areas because of its geographical location on an island. But St. Philomena Clinic, the private contractor at Kasekulo Landing Site in Kalangala, has increased access to family planning and improved maternal child health services on this island. Before partnering with Strides for Family Health, St. Philomena, the only health center on this island, operated in a ramshackled wooden structure that leaked whenever it rained. To date, the concrete clinic is part of the success story of the Strides for Family Health project and has become an oasis for women seeking family planning and maternal child health services. The service I'm carrying out, I'm carrying out some family planning, it wasn't there before. I reached here when people are delivering like uh, these uh, bags because they didn't. They were delivering even when that reached uh, in the latrines, uh, abortions were uh, many. So women who are who were pregnant were not attending to me. I was just calling them from notice. And now mothers are not getting problems as before because I, I try to check the area and refer serious cases to hospital and treating minor cases and also selecting for Maternity delivery here. In the Naja Munobiri Musambu, Naja and Rubuto, Naja and Rubuto, Bokuba wano, ama kazi abali woko, ama singa, siwa kumbo nyo, biwa nukusanze kasekulo, nukusanze kasekulo. So, ohizo abada afuna imbuto, nga tebe ya garide, uwe nso nga bauli la family planning, ya kamuli kache mvwa, kamuli kache mvwa, na ye chiba chiri wala kutambula mwono duka kumisajja uja msawa senta jazi kuwa ogende e masaka ogende kalangala in mayuge district eastern uganda another strides for family health contractor suubi medical center has expanded access to family planning services in the district and all major islands when strides came in we maintained our laboratory services general diagnostics and medical treatment then we also included in family planning, we had to include in deliveries, we had to include in also immunization, not only at the facility, but also in outreaches. The most innovative aspect of the performance-based contracting model is that contractors receive payment only if specified targets are achieved. This promotes hard work, innovation, and increases access to quality family health care. <music>